In this question then we're asked to solve 2 cot squared theta minus 9 cosec theta equals 3 for theta between 0 and 180 degrees. Now in order to do any trigonometric equation what we've got to do is make sure it's in the same trig function. And what we can do is use the identity that we discovered in the first part of the question. That was, let's just remind you, 1 plus cot squared theta was identical to cosec squared theta. And from this we can rearrange this and get that cot squared theta is identical to cosec squared theta minus 1. So if I substitute for cot squared theta and write cosec squared theta minus 1, what that's going to give me is then an equation in one trig function. That trig function is cosec theta. So that's basically where we're going to start then. So we've therefore got that 2 multiplied by, instead of cot squared theta, cosec squared theta minus 1. So put that in there, cosec squared theta minus 1. And then we have minus 9 cosec theta equals the 3. All right. What I'll do is I'll just remove this now. It gives us a bit more space. And what we've got to do is just expand this. So expanding that we have 2 cosec squared theta minus 2. Then minus 9 cosec theta equals the 3. Now what I've got is the start of a quadratic equation in cosec theta because we have a squared function here. So like all quadratics I need to rearrange this into the correct format and that will be starting with the squared term that will be 2 cosec squared theta then the cosec theta term so that would be minus 9 cosec theta and then make sure that I subtract 3 from both sides so that would be minus 5 equals 0. So I've got it in the right format now all I need to do is to factorize this quadratic and would have two brackets then and at the front would have say 2 cosec theta and a cosec theta here so I've now got my 2 cosec squared theta and then I'll need a plus 1 and a minus 5 and that gives me my minus 5 on the end and I can see I've got minus 10 cosec theta plus another cosec theta so that's minus 9 cosec theta. So that means that we have two factors being multiplied together equaling naught so I can obviously say that either of those factors would equal zero. So that be that one would equal zero or cosec theta minus five would equal zero. So taking the first factor it would mean that cosec theta would equal minus a half or in this case if I add five to both sides cosec theta equals five. Now cosec theta is 1 over sine theta, so that's going to mean that 1 over sine theta then is equal to the minus a half, or in this case 1 over sine theta is going to equal 5. So rearranging this first equation here gives that sine theta would equal negative 2 and rearranging this one would mean that sine theta equals one fifth. Now if sine theta equals minus 2 we should know that sine theta can only go between minus 1 and 1 and so therefore there are no solutions to this particular equation so I'm just going to put no solutions on this one. Okay, so 
you'd find obviously if you try to do theta equaling the inverse sine of negative 2 you'd get an error on your calculator but anyway we should know that that's no solutions before we even use our calculator really okay moving on to this one however we have sine theta equals one fifth so I'll just move this up a little okay so give us some room so if we look at when sine theta equals one fifth then obviously theta will equal the inverse sine of one fifth now if we're doing this I would always draw a quadrant diagram so just draw a little quadrant diagram here we're working in degrees so this angle here starts at naught degrees then we have 90, 180, 270, 360 I'm looking for where sine is a positive value, one fifth, so that's in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. We need angles of theta that are greater than or equal to naught but less than 180. So that would mean I would want that one and I would also want this angle round to here. Okay, this one here is a possible theta and the green one is a possible theta. And we must also remember that these two blue lines are inclined equally to the horizontal line here. So when we take the inverse sine of a fifth on our calculator you should find that you get theta equals 11.5369 and so on degrees so that obviously means that that angle in here is the 11.53 and so on angle okay and that means that this one here is also 11.53 and so on degrees so to get the green one all I need to do is 180 degrees minus the 11.53 number so that gives us 168.4630 and so on and that's in degrees and finally we're asked to give the answers to one decimal place so that means that therefore theta equals 11.5 degrees and for the second one 168.5 degrees and both of these are to one decimal place so both to one dp and that brings us to the end then of this question